What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? It's time for some mail and mail. Times from two. Bandana Gamer and 8 Bit Glitch. Do you, nerd? Hey, do you, nerd? Mail and mail. Mail and mail. Mail and mail. Mail and mail. That's right, nerdlings. We got some mail, some mail and mail from our fellow community members, our brothers from another mother's, our fellow gamers, never, never lamer, and our YouTubers like Hans Gruber. They're going to fall off a building? I hope not. Okay. <laughs> 8-Bit Glitch and Bandana Gamer, we have been chatting them up ever since... Siege, we had such a great time with them, and they are some of the nicest guys. They both have fantastic channels. Please go check them out. Where will links to those channels be? Down below. Exactly. 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 Before we tear into these, this is actually the second thing that yes. Bandana has sent us. What, what did he send to you before? He sent me plushies, because oh he gosh. knows I love plushies. So he told me about this. He asked if I was interested in this Luigi, and I said, uh, yeah, one of my favorite characters. So I knew he was sending me this one, but then he surprised me with two plushy donuts and then a <laughs> plushy, like, disco cat. Apparently, he's master of the crane machines. Well. And probably crane kicks. I can't believe he stole your move. Since we're talking bandana, let's tear into this box. The thing is, he had a game, I believe it was a PS2 game, and he asked if anyone needed it. I was like, you know, I don't have that, but this is a little big for a PS2 game, so let's see if he snuck something else in there. Ooh. Ready? Oh! <laughs> Mop! Mop, it's ringing. Okay, okay. One more. So, here is the game that he was offering up. The Mega Man X Collection. I had the Mega Man, uh, the anniversary collection. So all the old school, original Mega Man. So this will be a lot of fun because honestly, I only played up until like, I think through Mega Man X3. And then I kind of tapered off. So I've got some catching up to do. This is seven games in one. Oh, oh my boy. gosh. <laughs> Thank you very much. We need to find something nice to send his way. You know that, right? Mega, 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 Oh, man. actually, let me just move this over here because clearly this is for Ooh, you. Ooh, bummer. <laughs> nice. And probably this one too. Suicide Squad. Look at that. Urgh, shark man. Whoops. I dropped it. <laughs> and we got... Nice. That is adorable. <laughs> that is really cute. Look at his little chain around his neck with the game on Thank it. Thank you for taking this journey with us. Mina Cat. Do you know why we got these? There's not a cat in there, is there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he sent us Ronin's Tail. But he recently got this. He did a first impression take on it. And then I believe he went back and did more of a playthrough. So this looks like a very, very fun uh, puzzle game. And this is a Kickstarter test cartridge. Nice. Now, word was going around via John Riggs and a few others over on Twitter, trying to find some people to review this. And Bandana was one of the people that I hit up because I had a feeling that he would give it a good, honest review, which is why you guys definitely need to check out that video. But he's not done yet. <gasps> oh, <laughs> look at that cute little tiny Mega Man. Actually, this is more like Mini Man. Mini Man. <laughs> he's not Mega at all. Mega, Mega. Well, John, thank you that so, so much, cute. first of all, for the plushies yes. to begin with from last time. And then all of this stuff. You definitely didn't need to send this. You, you should have kept this in your collection. Although, did we ever get a dust sleeve from Bandana? I don't think so. If we did, I might switch up what goes on that dust sleeve. And if we didn't, we will. Hint, 
him. <laughs> get some dust sleeves because I, I need to put this in something. <laughs> so thank you so much. One last time, guys, please. Bandana has an amazing channel. He's so much fun to talk to. He's so much fun to watch. So hit those links. Check him out. All right. So we go. Blueberry or strawberry? Uh, I, I'll go with the strawberry, actually. There you go. Best part about donuts, there's no calories in the hole. So Except you, you have to eat, eat your as, way to you the can zero eat as calories. Many as you want. You gotta eat your way to the zero calories. So. That's pretty good. But try it like this. Mmm, donut. This is a big one. Oh, it's a big one. And this has got some heft to it, it does, too. Yeah. So, this is from Sean, aka 8 Bit Glitch. Now, another fantastic channel. Sean is so much fun to talk to as well. Uh, I especially love whenever he gets VGM and he does unboxings. Like when he goes to the beach and, you know, runs into Russ Lyman. I don't think so, Russ. <laughs> Or uh, maybe his kids remind him that he's got something for the thousandth time now. Which is a coaster, a Floyd with a beard. We already got that one thousand times. No, this one he has a beer. Now, do we know anything about this box? Nope. Look at that, he's got his own letterhead. Beep, 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 beep. This just in, 8BitGlitch79 says, Hey Tom and Lacey, I put together this little package to say thank you for being so awesome at Siege. And something that I had Chris over at VGDS, Video Game Dust Sleeves, put together to commemorate our meeting in person there. I try to put a few things in the box that maybe you both will like. Well, I know Lacey will like most of the box anyways. Looking forward to meeting up again at Midwest Gaming Classic in November! Woo! And maybe a couple more of those PBJ shots. Your friend, Sean A. Big Glitch. Everybody loves the PBJ shots. They really do. <laughs> they really, really do. World famous. I like it when you show me stuff. Oh. Well, I could do, oh my god. Oh, I saw stuff. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she's going to like this maybe just stuff. a little bit. I because saw stuff. <laughs> there's a plushie there. Oh my gosh, look how cute he is. Pew, pew. You pew, know, pew. I don't think. Ever had a plushie no, Mega Man? No, we've never That's had a, a Mega first. plushie. This that one looks almost a little retro-y, doesn't it? A little bit, like a yeah. A little older. That is so adorable, cute. Well, speaking of cute, <gasps> a little Mew. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at those big eyes. <laughs> so, so, oh, so cute. Oh my gosh, cute. S Cuteness overload. So then, is is Mega Man using Mew? Like, is that his new weapon? Like, Pokemon <laughs> pew, powers? Pew, oh, not pew. shooting them. <laughs> well, you said using him as his new power. <gasps> that is so, so cute. So, question is, does Sega had already have this, or is he going to be breaking down that door? to grab this for his own collection. Well, maybe if that's how we get yeah. him over here, that's how we get him you over best here. You hide it right now. <laughs> Come play with me, Sega Head. Forever and ever and ever. Oh, I see more in there. Mario! <laughs> that is so wow, cute. Wow, you. Look, that is like the perfect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, they really are. Just goes to show, bandana and 8-bit, they're, yep. they're finely tuned. <laughs> so I love how you've got a little bit of love from Capcom with Mega Man. You've got some Pokemon mm -hmm. representing Sega and Nintendo. Oh, oh. They're, they're friends. They're giving each other a hug. Oh, I don't <laughs> think Peach or Sonic are going to take See, it that they're way. they're hugging. <laughs> oh. oh. Speaking of. Uh-oh. Hey. You've been with my girl for the last time. Boop. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was trying to do a spin dash, but Mario jumped on him too quick. He's a he's a little judgmental with that finger there, though. You lay off. That's that's how Sonic always was. <laughs> his little title that string wag so on his cute. finger. Well, you have got quite a I got plushy me some plushies. And love it. 
Let's see it. Let's see it. The one, the only, salty bandana gamers. Ah, <laughs> nice. And look at this. Oh my god. He's wearing a sombrero. <laughs> and the mariachi band. Oh, what's up with this arcade stick? <laughs> Funny thing is, is no one is gonna get this but us. <laughs> hey, bandana was this close to winning. <laughs> An arcade stick at the Got G panel. Yeah. Via Gabo. But then at the last second, they did a Steve Harvey and they pulled that win away from him. <laughs> okay, folks, I have to apologize. Not only do I have an arcade stick ripped from my clutches and t stolen from my heart, but I mean, I don't get a kiss. But you can give me a hug. <laughs> I am flat out flustered to discover there is a group called Salty Bandana. And then on the back, Siege 2021. That is great. You've got Chris's logo yep. up top, video game dust sleeves. Guys, please check yes. him out. Amazing Link work. Description below. You've got Bandana Gamer, his logo, Megadan29, JLove81, 8 Bit Glitch, of course, and Do You Nerd. That is amazing. Because that was our uh, that was our little group at Siege. I am just truly vexed at this world. <laughs> hey guys, I uh, just throw it out there. It was so good to meet all you guys, and I'm so glad to find out that we have this way of communicating with each other. Well, we've got a game to go in there. Hey, we do. Actually, you know what? <laughs> this is perfect. It's a mad Figuring magazines. out why this was a little weighty. We got some old school mad. Wow. Uh, June of 76. Holy cow. You weren't even alive yet. I wasn't. My, my dad was just graduated in 76. That was the year my brother was born. <laughs> so I was, I was the furthest thing from his mind for another year or two. You're pregnant. <laughs> then you've got, uh, for president, oh, sorry, State USA. First of all, who's a Mad Magazine fan? Anybody? I don't think I ever checked out the magazine. I watched the show a little bit, um, but I don't Fair think enough. I ever checked out the magazine. I, I love when, uh, in the Simpsons episode where Bart gets to go to Mad Magazine headquarters <laughs> and he thinks it's going to be crazy and the receptionist tries to tell him different. But... But this is just a place of business. Oh. Okay. Get me Kaputnik and Phonebone. I want to see the drawings for the new kids on the blick. And we got an issue of Crazy. Crazy Magazine. Yeah, I've not heard of Crazy, but I've I have heard either. of uh, Cracked. So yeah. this is a new one to me. So we've got some more. A little inception going on there. <laughs> Another one from 76. This one's from 75. Holy, Holy cow. cow, man. Actually, a lot of these. Oh, 75. Charles Bronson. Oh. Hey. Mom, hey, I want a cookie. How about some cookies? No dice. This ain't over. And then 77. So a very curious are these from like your collection or did you find these like do these belong to older brother dad uncle something because i mean sean's he's not that old no and then the mad special the nostalgic mad so this one's uh all in black and white oh my. and yeah it's got like uh ads like an old school paper mm -hmm. magazine. Yeah. The funny thing is, I'm not entirely sure if we still have Mad Magazine, but I'm willing to bet that 90 to 95% of the humor in this, you could not get away with no, now. No, no, I don't think so at all. I don't think we can get away with the humor we did in 2000. So there's something in a brown paper bag here, but it seems like a book. Is it so safe for work? It's not, uh, it's not a bottle of hooch. It's where I was going. I was just going to say, usually when you get things in a brown paper bag like that, it's uh, not safe. 
Oh, there's some red Sonia. Nice. Oh my gosh, look at these nice. covers. I have that Funko Pop right there. So black, white, red. I love the use of colors. I mean, yeah. just going along with the, the name of the storyline anyway. I might have a, a thing for redheads or something. Just saying. And angry, deadly redheads, no less. <laughs> Are you talking about me? <laughs> no, I'm talk, talking about... You know what? It's time to move on. <laughs> Here we have the death-defying devil. Well, he can't get any hugs with a belt like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that's where you go with that. <laughs> well... Legion of Superheroes Millennium. So you've got a girl on here... Neat that uh, raided the Baroness's closet, and she's looking at a dystopian world through a Black ruined tower? Stargate. Or the Stargate, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Madam Supergirl, I mean, Madam President. What? Okay. I'm not that familiar with DC, so I know nothing. Okay, clearly I can't read any farther because I don't need to spoil anything, but I have no idea what's going on in here already. I'm guessing we're in the future though. Oh my goodness. Oh, and to go with the devil? Another issue of the death-defying devil. See, no hugs. Not getting any hugs with that. We got the power pack. I remember these guys faintly. Maybe I knew them more from uh, ads, like within other Marvel comics, but I felt like they were always popping up. Yeah, like Shadowcat and Wolverine on the front of it. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, fantastic for look. Is that Even when Doom gets married? Doctor Doom can find someone special. I was looking to pick this up because uh, my Marvel app popped this up, coming out, check it out, see who's who uh, Doom's gonna marry and everything. And the chick on the cover, I couldn't figure out who she was, and so I was actually looking to pick this comic up. So that works out pretty good. It's a mystery. <laughs> I know. Oh, nice Street Fighter, Akuma versus Hell. Street Fighter comics are often a lot of fun because look at them find all them streets. Ooh! So first of all, this is one of the Halloween comic fests. Now, love that. These are comics that are kind of put out around Halloween time, mm -hmm. kind of in that uh, free comic book day vibe. Yeah. There are some free ones, but then there are also uh, some variant covers of ones that you would mm -hmm. buy and pick up from the newsstand. But this is deceased. Oh. So is this like their version of the Marvel Undead? As far as I knew, it was, but I never got a chance to read through it. But I was always curious because I do love the Marvel Zombies storyline. So seeing how it's done over on the DC side of things. Looks like there's two lines for us if we ever decide to get the DC version of the Marvel Unlimited app. They have a DC Infinity. I think it's DC Infinitive or something like that. But same thing, and I want to do the death metal yeah, ones, and one. that would be fun to read. So it would. Looks like we've got some comics to read on that one. And then here we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ooh. The Last Ronin. Look at how... Is, is that, that April? I've never read any of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comics. I've only ever seen the TV show cartoon from back when I was a kid, and then the really good movies. So the artwork in here is really, really well done. I mean, I know that artwork isn't everything, but when it comes it to is comics- It sometimes. I feel like it really is. That's one of the things that really sells me on it, and I'm loving how everybody is looking. This auto, I don't know. This might be a bad thing. It is a bad thing. Because you might thing. be yeah. opening the manhole to a rabbit hole that we don't need to be going down. Actually, Bandana was just telling us about he had gotten a um, graphic novel of Turtles and was recommending right. it to us, saying it was a really good read. And we were thinking about looking into that. I do prefer getting the omnibuses or the collected work of it. That way I don't have to go track them down. Wow. Well, geez, guys. Sean, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you know that we love our comics. So very, very good home for these. And it is going to be a blast checking out these old school Mad Magazines and that issue of Crazy, because that's crazy. That's crazy. I, the sleeve, oh man, this is so, so good. I, I really do love this. This is awesome. Thank you. 
And I, I guess, my I guess you're happy with the plushies. Yeah, I got just, just slightly. I got some plushies. Plus, we got comics I know, from we Bandana. Got, see, I can cuddle my comics and read some comics. We got plus. games. Holy cow, you guys! You guys spoil us. I know. You really, really. I'm gonna do. go cuddle my plushies and read my comics now. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm actually, I was looking forward to this. I won't <laughs> lie. But uh, I'm very curious about this, and when my hands need a break, or my brain needs a yep. break, we'll wind down before I go mad. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> all right, one last time, nerdlings, please, all of the links to all these great channels. You've got 8-Bit Glitch 79, you've got the Bandana Gamer, and you've also got Video Game Dust Sleeves right here. Links to all of them will be in the description below. Leave some comments down below on what you think of any of this, any comic magazine, game, or plushy knowledge you may have, share it with us. Share the video, hit that notification bell, make sure you subscribe, and hug your plushies tight as you... Like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You go over to Tee Public. We don't have plushies over there, unfortunately, but we do have some other merchandise. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. They might like some of these, some of these properties right here. And if we like it, nerdlings, Oh, we nerd it. He's, he's got like a tank. Do not. Bye, nerdlings. One thing that's really on my heart and I would love to get for the collection is an Xbox arcade stick. Boo doop boop 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 boop. Look at you looking at me with those doughy eyes. Zip.